Ryan Freeman from the Sports Wire on KTGR.com, being joined by Bob Kendrick, who's been gracious enough to give us sort of a, a video tour of the New York Baseball Museum. Obviously, there's so much that we can't get on right now just in the interest of time. So if you, if you haven't been here before, I encourage you to check it out behind us. We've got a group of school kids over here doing a different project. We are at the Field of Legends, 10 of the greatest League League players of all time. We're popping on right now. Oscar Charleston, Satchel Page, Josh Gibson, uh, Frank Andrews over at third base. Um, what is it like going through this tour? And it's got to be pretty special to walk through this tour and coming and taking that route and finally getting there for the and, and I think the majority of our visitors get it. You know, by the time they've gone through and they've seen everything, they've seen the trials, They've seen the tribulations, but they've also seen for every instance of adversity how these men overcame that. And then you take that triumphant step onto the field to walk amongst these immortals. And they get it. There's a sense of pride, a sense of belonging, a sense of understanding of the place that these men had in our game. And, and so I've seen people move to tears when they walk out here. It is that kind of emotional, thought provoking experience. Kind of the greatest, I uh, name a few of them. We're over by shortstop right now. A short, we have That's Judy Johnson. Judy Johnson, a shortstop. Our first day. First. Uh, John he Henry Pop Lloyd at second. I mentioned two of the outfielders, Oscar Charleston in center, Cruz Cool Papa Bell in left. Right. Leon Day is in left field. Leon Day actually was a great pitcher in the Negro Leagues, but because of the way we chose his team based on what he made in the Hall of Fame, some of the guys are not in a natural position. Of course, if you played in the Negro Leagues, you played multiple positions. The late Buckley Mills scored to the day he died. Leon Day was a better center fielder than he was pitcher, and he's in the Hall of Fame as a pitcher. Well, Bob Kendrick, president of the Negro League Baseball Museum, thank you for everything today and the past, hopefully in the future. We hope you're back on sometime. For the Gracious Hospital, we're very honored to be part of this red carpet Hey, we're good cool to have you guys. Thank you so much, Bob, for being here. And, and I hope the listeners enjoy the Negro Leagues. I hope, I hope they do, too. I certainly hope that you get a chance to get out to Kansas City, come visit the museum. You can always look at, look for things for them at uh, nlvm.com. Uh, I think they, they can follow you on Twitter as well. for at NLBM Press. NLBM Press. And uh, you can find me on Twitter, KTGRP Free. Follow us, KTGR Sports, or Facebook.com, so it's KTGR ESPN Radio. I'm Brian Freeman with KTGR.com. See you down the road.